What's up, everybody? I'm Ethan Lee, also known as Watch Your Syndicate. Uh, I do know these are videos are going out in a really weird order, but that is okay. Today is the official release date of Streets of New Capenna, and uh, we what better way to celebrate than uh, cracking a box of this? So there's been a couple things that have changed about these boxes. Uh, primarily, the list slot has been optimized. But once again, uh, I don't play this game, so this box is actually sponsored by the Leviathan, per usual. And of course, we have the classic box topper. Uh, if we open more boxes of this, we will get very familiar with this card. Gala Greeters. Every box has one, and ours is in English. <clears throat> All right. Time to go to town. So currently the biggest hits in the list are uh, Vampiric Tutor and Sensei's Divining Top. Sakashima Student has dropped down all the way to $25, so that's not really a thing. That also, they're full so tabs. Bad. Oh. These are, these Japanese. are Japanese. Huh. Wow. That's not a great start. Done in the, potentially the worst way possible, but that's okay. All right, well... No list card. So sad. Our art card is... For fiends and rat. Diamond. It's a flying Just rat. kidding. It's speakeasy spe uh, server. All right. Well, let's see. Brazen Upstart. Citizen's Crowbar. That's a good card. Discipline Duelist. Hey, Quaza. Quaza. Not to be confused with Ray Quaza. That's a different IP. Shattered Seraph. That's the fixing... Another Brazen Upstart. Jetmere's Guardian, very nice. Security Bypass. All right, let's see how many of the rare lands we get in this box. Because uh, yeah. we opened the Collector Booster. Uh, we only got one in there, which was a bit odd. But we will see how many we get in the rest of them. Wow. <laughs> These pull tabs are not doing so hot. <sighs> or I'm just not doing very hot with the pull tabs. I would argue the latter is probably true. At least we're not going to be trolled by, uh... Well, no, no, okay, so hold on. The pull tags exist for a reason, and that is one of those reasons. That is not my doing. No, that's pretty... Hey, Whisper Steel Dagger. What? Whisper Steel Dagger. It was from the Zendikar Rising Commander decks, I think. That's weird. It's anyway. not worth much, but... All right, well... Let's see. That is, uh, something. Arsonist? It's Plasma Jockey. Blitz, do stuff. Waterfront District. Another Roko. Rock Rock. Sanctuary Warden. And Corpse Appraiser. The Sanctuary Warden even do. It's a double oh, shield yeah. counter. It carried me through a couple it's games. Pretty, pretty nice. Alright, well. So far, we got one of the lands. So, that's... You know, pretty good. Means we're we're one fifth of the way there to having a full collection. I mean, I already got one of them, so you know, not that bad. I will say the lands in this one are all right. Um, some of the lands have nice art; others are kind of hey. whatever. And a foil obscura charm that looks pretty nice. Not a Gilded Foil. I'm assuming there's probably at least one Gilded Foil in here, but I could be wrong. Assumptions are assumptions, so... I've seen, like, every time someone's opened one of these, there's been at least one Gilded Foil. So, uh, these pull tabs are really close to the edge, so... Well, okay, next one I will show you how to open it. Or at least show you how a better way of opening it. Uh, which is opening it from the front rather than the back. Perhaps, perhaps. That's how surface tension works. Discipline Duelist. Bot Plaza. Rabble Rouse. This is just my pre-release kit. <laughs> Almost every card Pretty here. Much. So far, out of our four rares or mythics, three of them was in my kit. Okay, so, yeah. See, see, look at, look at how, whoa, it just it really works. It did not work still, but. It works better than ripping it right at the corner and then damaging your list card. Oh no, my 10 cent list card. 
They may be 10 cents, or it might be a Sensei's Divining Top. It probably will not. Wow, this is a really sad path. <laughs> These are set boosters. Don't have too high of an expectation. Yeah, I, I, I expected a little bit of fun. A little bit of... Fun and value are two different things. You can spend money and get zero value, but have fun. All right, well... We or you can spend no money. Oh, wait, is that the... That's the new... Uh, yeah, Rafika the Mini. This is still like 25. Oh, it wait, was what? For, it was 40 bucks, but then it went down to 25. Uh, fun thing we got to point out, since this is a uh, new artwork, it, it has no secret lair symbol. Alara has 349 cards, and since this is the first showcase of Alara, the number is 350. That's a quick little PSA. Close enough. I, I can't read. But, but yeah, huh? Not I didn't it. know that was a thing in this. You would have so. known if you listened to any of my seventeen messages about it. Well, that's cool, I suppose. Um, yeah, huh? Uh, yeah. So I guess, really, unless you want the gilded foil versions, there's no gilded foil version of it. Yeah, it is. There's it's no the secret layer. Isn't it? Secret Lair? Yeah, that's part of the Secret Lair. Secret Lairs are the four color commanders. Oh, wait. This is at, oh. straight up from a lot. Like, once huh. I said, well, I read you the number. You cannot get the... This This has no foil version. Or etched foil. Or oh. gilded foil. That's pretty cool. If I ever want to build a Rafik deck, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Unleash the Inferno. Sad. That was our last rare. One. Hey, Gallagher readers. Oof. <clears throat> yeah, well. Huh. So, how much did you say that was? Like, 20? Uh, it was, it started at 40, but, you know, today is release day, so it is eminently decreasing as we speak. The longer you take opening this box, the more it's going to drop in value. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's about how it goes. Hey, another land. I love this art. Hey. Spara. Never going to play those colors, probably. Uh, but... You are in... That's in your... That is good for Omnath. Yeah, that's in your Omnath Is colors. it better than the other Triumph? It's a fetchable Triumph. Yeah, yeah but... The Triumphs are Triumphs. They're all the same. Well, yeah, yeah. You but... just have to look at your color balancing. Exactly. Which one you need more. Uh, that's what I meant. You know? Also, how much are the Flamekin Harbingers? Uh, Like... Foil or non-foil? Elmar. Oh, yeah, this is just from the secret lair. Yeah. Uh, non-foil. Uh, I think, like... Six? Six dollars? I think. It wasn't that much. Endless detour. And fight fight rigging. Ooh. And a foil Zeotaurus Proving Ground. So this is what we call a good pack. That's a nice pack, yeah. I like that. It makes me feel good about my life. It was a quad rare pack. Yeah. No, but yeah, um, I was asking because I came into possession of four of them, and I was wondering how much they were, because I didn't remember. Uh, well, it depends on, like, what version they are. Original lore when printing non-foil. I have like no play. idea, then. Because none of mine were that, so... Yeah, they were. This This card had one printing. No, it had another. Yeah, as a, as the mystery booster foil. Oh yeah, right. Rigo, Venom Connoisseur. Rigo, Rigo. So so far we've hit one mythic, not including the Alara boy Rafika the many. Wow. All right, well. Yeah, this set. Uh, probably not going to buy any more of it. Uh, it's not that exciting. There's not really any chase cards that I'm really looking forward to, um, except for the lands, of course. But if we don't get any more of the lands, you know, we'll just buy it. Uh, same with, like, Jet Mirror. Oh, I love Zeotaurus. Oh, Gilded Foil. And it's a rare. Hey, Too bad not it's... Bad. No, this is actually tour. fairly playable. But uh, ish really if you don't want it i'll take it because i still no, need i'm the gonna take it because it's a gilded foil but yeah uh at least it was a rare so there's that 
Um, but yeah, uh, really, I'm only looking for a few cards. Uh, Ginny Faye, Jet Mirror, um, a Gilded Foil Xander would be pretty awesome. Oh, but... I, I can hook you up with that one. I know a guy. Yeah, the problem is that... Oh, hold on. Signed. Second, Gilded Foil, Maestro's Charm. Bruh. The charms are actually not bad. Um, yeah. The two biggest ones are the Jund one and the Esper one. Yeah. So yeah, double Gilded Foil. Interesting. Can we hit triple? Probably not. Oh, this Fatal Grudge is the card I was talking about. Let's Additional see. cost, sack, and on land. Each opponent sacks. Oh, wow. Huh. For two mana? Well, because it's Dang. not two mana. It's two mana plus a card. Yeah. You're two for one in yourself. Professional face breaker. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll take that out. It's not worth anything. It's 11 no. cents. Well, That's why I said I wanted to spec on it. I could buy 990 copies at nine cents each. The question is whether or not I want to park $100 in a random uncommon. All right. I mean, you do you, man. Yeah. Incandescent Aria. Yep, deal three to every... Ooh, that one's a couple yeah, bucks. That. Oh, and... and... Okay, well, that's worth something, yeah. Bootlegger Stash is, uh... Hmm. <laughs> All right, not a bad box. Yeah. Towards the towards the back here, we're starting... we're not towards the back. We're not towards the halfway. middle here. <laughs> towards the middle here, we're getting some pretty nice packs. You know, double gilded foil in a row. So, ooh, list card. No, no. Oh, we gotta just flip it. Who? See, it's another one of the oh. friends forever. Friends for never. I love the art on Halo Scarab. Oh man, yeah, the colors. Um, I will say a lot of the art in this set, uh, because of the, like, Roaring Twenties vibe. Oh, that's our first Commander card. Uh, not a great one. Yeah. Foil Maestro's Charm. Not gilded, but pretty nice. Extraction Specialist. But uh, because of the Roaring Twenties theme, um, all of the colors are really uh, popping with the gold. I'm, I'm not very good with words right now, because I've been drawing for the past seven hours. So, you know, some days uh, you just lose sight of everything you're talking about all at once. Wow, three charms. Well, that's certainly <laughs> four charms. Uh, can we hit five? Cemetery tampering. Nah, no fifth charm. But really... Um, I like the aesthetic of about half the cards in the set, um, but I feel like some of them are too simple uh, in their designs, and the color contrast um, in a lot of the cards is pretty good, even without that. I don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> Another Toulouse and a Backstreet Bruiser. Yeah. Uh, pre-release did not do very well. Uh, my pre-release kit had basically nothing that was good and limited. Um, you know, Evolving Door. Uh, uh yeah. None, none of my other rares were really of note. R Riveteer's Ascendancy. That's playable in Corvold. And Tezzeret's Betrayal as a list card. <laughs> This is a, a Planeswalker deck rare. I don't know why that's in the list still when it's what do you, pretty... What do you mean in the list still? It wasn't in the list before. Yeah, it was. I pulled one from the list uh, oh. from Kanigawa. Remember, the list is just a walkthrough at Magic's history. The yeah. fact that Planeswalker decks don't exist anymore, that is part of Magic's history. <laughs> but why? <laughs> you can't just have good cards because then the box would either destroy the value yes. of everything inside of it. I don't even it. care if it's like a random-ass rare from that, Alara or that, something. That is what it is. It's a random-ass rare no, from a set like, that was not open. It has no use. <laughs> Yeah, it does. It literally fetches you the Tezzeret. The single Tezzeret. <laughs> it's also a four mana kill spell. Five mana kill spell. Oh, tenacious underdog. Every time I see this card, I'm like, oh, Tassiker? And then I'm like, oh, that's not Tassiker. That was one of the other cards I was looking at specking on. They are available for about 26 cents, and there's like 400 copies on hmm. the Gaming Co. currently on TCG Player as of today. 
Shout out to them. I have no idea who they are, but I know they open a lot of cards. Yep. Uh, sure. Vampiric Tutor is down to $36 on their site as well. So. Well, Vampiric Tutor is a good card. I'd love to have one. Um, For $36, you can what, have one. What version is it? It is from EMA as the list. Ah. Oh. Which is why I'm looking to pick one up. I'd have liked it if it were uh, Commander Legends, but... I know someone who has one. Yeah, well... <laughs> uh, it's a little expensive. Rackish Revelers. Ooh. Oh, we got one of the Crime Heads. I'm looking for a Xander, really. Um, I have three. Yeah, Structural Assault. I have never seen this. Destroy all artifacts, deals damage. Huh. Well, that's a... Sure is a board wipe. Um, but yeah. Really, out of all the crime heads, uh, Zeatora would be fun. Xander is also really fun, because he's... <laughs> yeah, he sure is a uh, control deck that uh, just makes everyone hate you. But, yeah. Another yeah. endless detour. Sorry, third endless detour. That's our fourth one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, we can see it right here. I only see three. Uh, uh, yeah. I I already have, like, two endless detours. I opened one from the pre-release pack that I used at pre-release, and then I bought another pre-release kit just to see if, if that one was any better. It was. Uh, it was way more playable. I wish I had gotten that one uh, to play. <laughs> But uh, that also had an endless detour in it, in foil, so. Ooh. Shadow of Mortality. Good old Death Shadow, but big. But also... S no, Death Shadow's bigger. Yeah. Death Shadow's a 13-13. Yeah, it could be a 13-13 eventually. No. With enough counters, you know? So can Llanowar Elves. <laughs> it's a little more accurate there because, Shepherd. you know, it's one mana. Yeah. All right, quick draw dagger. That's nice, Orphea. <laughs> I will say a lot of the names in the set are um, pretty good. Um, they do make you laugh. So Void Run, that's pretty good. It's a very playable removal card. There you go. You want me to take over for the last five packs? There's. More than five packs, but sure. Well, you're in the middle of handling that one, so after that one would have been six. But yeah, all right. So, once again, to reiterate, love how crispy these packs are. There's the Avernox. Heck yeah, that was the only one I actually cared about a little bit. <laughs> cool. So, once again, ooh, hostile takeover, not worth much, but I love these lands. They're still not worth much, but, you know... As a connoisseur of all kinds of art, I respect all art, even the ones that are bad, because art is art, art is subjective, and if you think my opinion is wrong, your opinion is wrong. That's how that works. But yeah, it looks like we've hit most of the value in this box. There's not, not, there's not that much left over, um, but we can always... Uh, these are still a buck, which is neat. Um, however, not for long... Ooh. I forgot the the little skyscraper border is on a few other rares, not oh. including the uh, lands, which is a little odd because there's only like I think four non land cards with that border. Huh. That's and weird. ooh, exquisite blood. That's pretty nice. Uh, another thirty bucks. I also haven't had an exquisite blood, so but that's, that's thirty bucks for that reason. <laughs> uh, Ledger Shredder. Ooh. It. Uh, it wasn't. It's an all right card in limited. It does trigger off both players, which is always fun. You see how every time I open it, it just like, look at that. See, that's how pros do it. It's almost as if I'm not a pro. Maestro's ascendancy. That's my second one. All right, two packs left. I think we've mostly hit our value. Uh, no, this card, cat. We've got our d dank mangler, <laughs> dusk mangler. A suffering. Angel of suffering? Yep, it's just the pre the pre release um the spoiler season translation for this was real nice. It was uh Seraph of Toilet Paper. 
which was fascinating to look at. Ooh, there's the Arabrask. Heck yeah. And Voice of the Vermin. So yeah, I mean, this was a this is not a bad box at all. Like, you, I want to say you've probably hit value. No this card, but that's all right. Yeah. Let's see. Can we get another foil rare? So we. Ooh, this is also twenty bucks currently. Huh. So not bad at all because it's a uh, it's wedding ring, except ish. Oh yeah, right. Two mana wedding ring. Uh, getaway car is a bad card to end on, but. We have to end it somehow, and we end it with Broken Wings. Much like what would have happened in the story if, I don't know, this stuff didn't happen. Yeah. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video, and peace.